it away. Nipping at my heels, Wolfie. Fatality. So in my previous video about Witcher 3, I used Uniscaler and DLSS Enabler to unlock frame generation. And those had lots of problems. In this video, I will show you two methods to enable frame generation on Witcher 3. Make sure to watch the whole video without skipping which will save you hours worth of troubleshooting. So like the video and subscribe to the channel, I always upload these kind of videos. Make sure to ring that bell icon so you can be the first to watch my videos. Thank you. The first method is OptiScaler Frame Generation, known as OptiFG. It's an external frame generation method without any hard flickering or ghosting. It's working perfectly. The second method is in-game frame generation, but you have to do the first method to use the second one. When you go to display settings, you can see I'm running full screen, 1920 by 1080, reflex is on, and in here make sure to disable vSync. And you can see in-game frame generation is greyed out too. In graphic settings, I use high settings preset, HBAO+, hairworks enabled, and motion blur disabled. So with these settings and using FSR2 quality, I'm getting around 54 FPS in this area. And this is without any frame generation. So close to 60 FPS is very good, very good for frame generation. Now let's see how to install OptiFG. This file link will be in the video description. Download it and extract it. Inside you will find two folders. Let's try OptiFG first. Go to the Witcher 3 file location. Go to bin folder. There are two x64 folders. You need to install OptiScaler on this x64dx12 folder. Otherwise, you will not be able to turn on frame generation because there is no frame generation for DX11 games yet. So make sure you run the game in DX12 mode, otherwise nothing will work. Then open the OptiScaler file and extract everything here. You can replace files. And then run this OptiScaler setup bat file. For most of the games, DXGI will work. But if it doesn't work for you, try the below ones too. So put one in here and press enter. If you have an AMD or Intel card, press 1. If you have an NVIDIA card, press 2 and hit enter. So OptiScaler is now installed. AMD and Intel users need to do one more extra step. Spoof the game. So basically, this will make the game believe you have an NVIDIA card even if you have an AMD or Intel card. So this step is mandatory for non-NVIDIA users. To do that, open this fake NVIDIA API file and extract it to the location where you install the OptiScaler. Open this OptiScaler INI file and search for NVIDIA API. In this NVIDIA API section, you will see there is an override NVIDIA API DLL option. Make sure to set this to true and save the file. Now let's open the game and see if it works or not. And one other thing I have to say, don't open up the scaler menu in the game menu. It will not work. Just load into the game and open the opti scaler menu. Don't be like this guy. In graphic settings, now you can see we can enable DLSS. So as you can see, my FPS is lower than before. That's because in opti scaler menu, it's using DLSS. Set this to FSR 3.1.3 and I got my 60 FPS back. And if you want, you can get the FPS overlay that is provided by the OptiScaler. When you click on the FG Active option, game becomes smooth. Now frame generation is working. And you notice that I don't have any HUD elements. That's because there is an in-game option that can remove everything on the screen. If you press home key on your keyboard, the HUD will go away. Press the home button again to bring them back. But unfortunately, my HUD is flickering. You can fix that by enabling the HUD fix. And enabling a sync option will give you some extra FPS depending on your PC. 
But if you crash after enabling it, make sure to set the async command in the OptiScale.ia NI file to false. You can see the game kept its smoothness, FPS, and the HUD fix is working perfectly. You can see the generated FPS on the right side of the screen using the OptiScale FPS overlay. So how do we know whether the HUD fix is working or not? Go to the OptiScale menu again and enable this FG debug view. In the bottom middle, you shouldn't see any HUD or any color differences between the bottom middle and the bottom right. After making changes here, make sure to save them using the Save INI button at the bottom. Now let's see how to enable in-game frame generation. So to enable in-game frame generation, you still need OptiScaler and one extra file. Open your file location again and copy this file into the x64dx2l folder. Find and open the OptiScaler INI file and in the frame gen section, you need to set the FG type to nuke ms. You can do this in the OptiScaler menu too. But you have to restart the game and do some extra steps. And if you are trying this right after you try OptiFG like me, make sure to disable OptiFG because if you use the frame gen mods together, either the game will crash or not work at all. So make sure to disable OptiFG before using in game FG. So in the settings, you can see the DLSS frame generation is now unlocked. There is no hard figuring or anything because we are using the in-game frame generation. I will put a comparison between in-game frame gen and OptiScaler frame gen. So one other thing I forgot to say is that in the Opti frame generation method, when you tick that hard fix option, sometimes it will not fix the flickering. One culprit is the gamma option. Make sure to set the gamma to the game's default value. Most of the time, this will fix the issue. So that's it. Until next video, adios amigos.